Hey everybody, Sean here with BoardParacord.com. I've got one a little out of the ordinary for this channel, but I have had a lot of customers asking me, um, can you show us how to do a knife handle, wrap a knife handle with paracord? So I've been wanting to do this for quite a while, I just couldn't find the right kind of knife. So I was talking to the guys at uh, Jant's Supply and uh, telling them what, what I wanted to do. And he and Brett over there was nice enough to give me some samples so that I could wrap, um, so that he could show his customers how it's done too. Um, so what I'm going to do on this one, this is their, this is the J419G knife, and, I, and this is just a pattern that they use. Most people will put a you know a hardened handle on here, but it works perfect for adding paracord. And then this is the sheath that goes with it. So I'm just going to set that aside. Well, actually, I need that. <laughs> I don't want to cut myself. Um, what I have already done, I've got about, I would say, about six feet of paracord here. And this is the Digital Viper. We're going to start at this end here. And we're just going to take the paracord underneath. And we're just going to wrap this just as if we're doing the fishtail design. Um, if you were to do a bracelet and do the fishtail design, it's going to be the same same concept. So the first thing I want to do is this is my center point of the paracord right here. I just want to wrap this around one time. And that's going to give us a good starting point. So just give it a one time wrap around. And then we're going to go down through the bottom. I'm going to go right down through the middle. Pull it off to the left side. Now you want to take your the one that's on the top here, and that's going to do the same thing. That's going to go down through the center and out through the right. It's the same concept. Okay, now we're going to take the one on the right and go down through the left. So you always, you always want to have your paracord on one side. That's when what you want to come back to. So you want to have one on the top, one on the bottom. The one on the top is going to weave through and then it's going to end up on the bottom where this one is now. So let me zoom in on this just a little bit for you so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to take our top one here, go over the first bar, down through the center, and off to the right. And then we're going to take that one over this bar, down through the middle, and off to the left. Make sure that you're pulling this tight and then kind of cinching everything that way. There we go. And we'll do the same thing. Start with the top one again. Down through the center. Over to the right side. And then do the same thing. Down through the center and off to the left. And it'll end up on the bottom now. So real easy. Um, he did give me two different size handles, or uh, I think the handles are the same, it's the blades that are a little smaller. Um, so I'll be doing those in future videos. I'm going to be doing um, a couple different patterns that I've come up with. I was doing a few last night, um, came up with some cool ones that I haven't seen on handles before. It's uh, kind of incorporating some of the bracelets that, that I've come up with, or some of the bracelets that have been done already. Um, but I think it's going to turn out good. I've got six samples, so hopefully I can come up with six designs. I've got, f I think, three or four now, but there's some pretty cool ones. This is, this is going to be the most basic one, just to get us going. And um, over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'll, I'll spit out a few of these, uh, these knife wraps. They're pretty cool, though. I like them a lot. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down to about here and... Um, Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> I'm going to get down to about here, and then I'm going to show you how to finish up the uh, the end of this right, the end of the wrap right here. It gets kind of tricky. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but I think I've come up with a pretty good idea. I'll be back. Okay, so I've basically done one last pass here, and what I want to do is I want to get this top cord to the right side. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do a half of one more. So we're going to pull this over to this side. We're going to pull these two as tight as we can. And then to end this, we're going to do like a half hitch sort of thing. Gets it nice and tight. 
we're just going to make a loop like this. We're going to tuck the loop down through the last hole. So you got to make sure you have a little bit of room at the end. Bring that through like that. Now you're going to take your, your paracord down through that loop. So you're, you're going to have a working end here with a loop here. You're just going to take it down through that loop. And then you're going to just rock it back and forth until it gets nice and tight. So it's going to tighten up on you just like that. There we go. And you're going to want to do the same thing. Let's get these moved over just a little. You want to do the same thing with this side. I might have to use... Let's see if I got a fit over here. Yeah, we do. Here we go. Unscrew that. We're just going to poke this through with the fit. So what I want to do is I want to create a loop. There we go. I just want to create a loop on this side again, just like we just did. So I'll just bring a loop through this way. So you're just going to poke a loop right through that hole. And then you're going to take your working end up out of that hole and down through that loop. Just like that. And then it'll pull up tight on itself. And then you're just going to grab hold of this pretty tight and the blade. And you're just going to pull until it, until it snugs right up on itself. And at this point, what you could do, there's a few things you could do here. You could do a knot, you know, one of those decorative knots right around the end, and then just create a piece that goes around your wrist. You could also do, you know, another piece here and do a bend. You use the paracord and create a bend. Um, that gives you something to go around your wrist while you're holding the knife. I think what I want to do, because I like doing the bracelets this way, is I'm just going to snip the ends and then we're going to singe them. That'll give us a good ending point there. I gotta grab my my scissors real quick. There we go. So we're just gonna cut the end here. You wanna do it really close to that hitch there. Grab my lighter. And when you singe this end and you mash it in there, that paracord doesn't have anywhere to go, so it kind of locks everything right in place. There we go. It's a smooth edge too. Alright, we'll do this one, last one here. Sorry, I know this part of the video is pretty boring. So please, please forgive me. <laughs> and I was thinking about doing this part of it, doing the singeing part up toward the, you know, starting all the paracord at this end and working it this way. But I didn't want, I didn't want the singed part to be up where your hand's going to be. At least if it's down on the end here. Um... You're less likely to have your hand right there, so I think this is going to be a good spot to, to end it. There we go. Nice and smooth. But there you have it. That is the, uh, the, J49, <laughs> the J419G. The G stands for green. And uh, hope you like this one. I've got some others in mind. Just keep an eye out for them. And uh, if you haven't already done so, get over to the Paracord On Facebook group. You can show off your designs that you've come up with on your, your knives. And uh, until next time, Paracord On.